And this is uh, the continuation of the first part of the video for thermal effect. Um, a bronze bar 3 meter long with a cross-sectional area of 320 square millimeter is placed between two rigid walls as shown in this one as shown in the figure at a temperature of negative 20 degrees celsius the gap is 2.5 millimeter find the temperature at which the compressive stress in the bar will be 35 mpa use alpha or the coefficient of thermal expansion is 18 times 10 raised to negative 6 meter per meter degree celsius and our modulus of elasticity is 80 gigapascal so we are going to compute for the temperature where we could have a compressive stress of 35 megapascal now when we have a change in temperature our bar will expand this one here okay so if we let our bar expand freely to the right side direction so we have uh, this expansion here now we know that we have here the change or the gap that is 2.5 millimeters okay so our bar will expand freely up to this point okay but since there is a restriction okay the wall so therefore instead of expanding further up to this point okay it will just stop okay on the wall surface at this point here so therefore we could say that we have a resisting force p okay that is counteracting force p that is responsible why our um, expansion stops uh, on the wall surface okay so let this be our actual load p and if we try to create a compatibility equation we know that this entire deformation here that is the deformation due to temperature okay and this deformation this deformation is the deformation due to the reacting or counteracting um, load p or actual load p okay so therefore we could have um, this compatibility equation that is the um, the temperature deformation due to temperature is equal to we have 2.5 plus the deformation due to actual load p okay so therefore this one is our compatibility equation so we will be using this one to compute for the stress so we have here the formula for the change in temperature that is the coefficient of thermal expansion times the change in temperature times the length of the bar is equal to 2.5 plus our deformation due to actual load that is pl over ae okay so we know that the coefficient of thermal expansion is 18 times 10 raised to negative 6 okay times our change in temperature that is unknown times our length here that is 3000 is equal to 2.5 plus we have our actual load now we know that our stress here is equal to p over a correct and our normal stress is 35 mpa so therefore our 35 here is equivalent to p over a so we're going to change this entire variable p over a with 35 megapascal okay so we have um, 35 and the remaining would be l over e our l is 3000 over our e our e here that is the modulus of elasticity that is equal to 80 times 10 raised to the 3 okay so we have the change in temperature here is equal to that is we have um, 70.6 degrees celsius okay and we know that our change in temperature is equal to the observed temperature minus the standard temperature during our length is 3 meters so we have here that is our change in temperature is equal to 70.6 is equal to the observed temperature minus now during um, our 
length of the bar is 3 meters, the temperature is negative 20 degrees Celsius. So we have minus negative 20, okay? And therefore, we have the observed temperature here that is equal to 50.6 degrees Celsius. So we can say that when our temperature is in 50 degrees Celsius, okay, or 50.6 degrees Celsius, the stress in our bar becomes 35 mega pascal. And that ends our example number three and our discussion in thermal effect, okay, in the deformation of actually loaded member. Okay, so if you have questions, comment, you can post it in the comment section below. And for more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for listening.